Hey guys, just got up to my Ulta, pulled out a bag. It looks to be benefit testers. This is a dumpster diver's worst enemy. He got here before me, but I was able to snag one bag. But yeah, looks like we found a few things. So we'll go over it when we get home. I'm home, so let's go over what I found in that bag from Ulta. So right off the back, I found three of these NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundations. They're a little bit dirty, missing the caps, but yeah, we found those. Then I found the Benefit, what is this, Hello Flawless Oxygen Foundation. So I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. They're all about half full. This one's a little less than half, but yeah, those were the testers. They threw those out. And then I found the pressed powders along with it. So this is what it is, the Hello Flawless by Benefit. So I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those as well in a variety of shades. Then we just found a little Tarte um, creaseless concealer, pretty full. And then we found two Benefit Pore Professionals. This one is been used quite a bit, but there's still a ton of product in there. The same with this one. There's still about that much product for my thumb down. So yeah, that's my quick little haul from Ulta this morning. So if you like what you see, just keep watching. Hey guys, I'm in my Ulta dumpster, going through some bags. Found a few little things already. When I get out, I'll let you know all that I found. So over here, I'm just gonna start off with some of these um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products. I found three different types. I have them twisted up just to show you that there's still product in all three of them. So we have two of the brow definers, no, two of the brow whizzes and one of the um, definer pencils. So they're all three shades that I could use. So that's pretty neat. Then I found this, I think it's a lip brush, but this says it's a Chanel lip brush. I didn't even know Ulta sold Chanel makeup, so that's pretty cool. I have not cleaned it yet, but yeah, I think it's definitely a, um, a lip brush because it has some lipstick on it, so that's pretty neat. found a Clinique um, liquid eyeliner in black. Still lots of product. It was very wet. And then we found a MAC lip liner. Two of the Benefit Punch Pop lip glosses. Yeah, one's in watermelon and the other is in bubblegum. Just a normal, you know, fun little lip gloss. A little light bronzer. Definitely was used, but there's still a ton of product in there. I've never used the light one, so I wanted to see if that would go well with my skin tone. So I have the opportunity to try now. I found a Sugar Rush Tart Sweet Slice Palette. Um, I believe this is brand new product. So this is the box. Those are the shades. And I believe that this didn't even make it to the um, aisle because it still has the plastic film. And I think they got it with a broken shadow. So they were never able to put it out on display for people to test. So I think I got one of the first testers. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see, there's no finger swatches at all. Just this beautiful color up on the right was kind of broken. So that's a really pretty palette. I think that's a pretty brand new product that Ulta got. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that was that quick little find from Ulta. Hey guys, now my Ulta dumpster. I found three suit boxes so far. I just found another. So let me go through everything and I'll show you what I was able to get in the car. So I found four suit boxes completely sealed. I have one back there. And then this was just sitting out. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, what a trick. It's not the Norvina, it's the Modern Renaissance. And let's, hear, let's see what it looks like. Oh, not too bad. It's missing some. So yeah, tester. So let me get home and figure out what's in these boxes and I'll let you guys know. A lot of this stuff was completely ruined. This was what I was able to pull from it. Hopefully I can clean up and salvage what I did pull. I'll let you know. 
um, what I was able to keep and fix. Start off with the hair products that I found. So I found this um, Professional Sebastian Twisted Curl Enhancer Cream. It's completely full, bottles just ugly, but who cares. Also I found this Redken Beach Envy Volume Texturizing Conditioner. Um, this is something new that Ulta did. They Normally I'm pretty good with finding hair products, but some of the products they sliced with a razor. So this was completely sliced and I had to tape him up, but there's still a ton of product in there. We also found a big Diva Curl One Conditioning Delight Conditioner. Still pretty heavy, lots of product. Um, and then I found the Diva Curl No Poo Original Conditioner and the One Condition Original. So love that. Also I found a Baby Bliss Pro Prima 3 3100 the cord was cut but I know how to fix that so that's pretty exciting because those are pretty pricey moving right along as you saw in the previous clip they tricked me and I thought it was a Norvina palette but inside was actually the modern renaissance yeah it's missing one two three shades and a couple are cracked but still a lot of product in that palette so I'm going to obviously repress it and save it and give it to somebody who could definitely use it then we found the naked um, cherry by urban decay is that what it's called I'm not really sure as you can tell they tried to damage it but there are still some products left in there so I will do my little method of repressing and it'll be just like new um, it, the brush was also with it so it's pretty cool then I found the Lime Crying Venus 3 palette. I went ahead and repressed all of them because they were all shattered. Um, I had to see if these were savable because the colors were just so pretty. And they are. And for some of you that want to know if the pigment is still there once you repress it with alcohol, everything is still there, still working fine. So yeah, still very pretty. And in my opinion, sometimes the formulas actually work. A little bit better after you've repressed it. Of these body shop um, body butters, we have vanilla marshmallow, berry bonbon, and peppermint candy cane. Um, I love the vanilla the best, but yeah, they're completely full. So, score. So we found a NYX eye, um, eyebrow. We found two MAC lip liners, Kylie lip liner. We have an Urban Decay 24-7 black eyeliner. We have a Lancome, not Lancome, sorry, a L'Oreal like pink lip liner. And then we have a NYX Mavi Nude lip liner. A Cosmetics CC foundation, but just like the Redken conditioner over there, they sliced this and I went ahead and re-taped um, it so it didn't lose part, but you can see where the slice was. So yeah, this, this is one of my favorite foundations and it's in fair and Good to go. Also a Dose of Colors lipstick in the color Sand, really pretty. A Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Low Key, really pretty color. And then a really nice Shimmery Ultra Brand Lip Gloss. A Morphe Highlighter and Bronzer Palette. And a little clip I'll insert right now. I just show you basically how I found three of these and I just kind of broke down all the products in all of them and put all the leftover powder into just one palette and I was able to get a full complete palette. So yeah, once again, the pigmentation is still there, still gorgeous. The bronzers are still silky smooth, still there. So yeah, that is, what is this palette? Let's check it out. It is the AH by Morphe. Found the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, yeah, so never tried that. Interested to see that, but I do love the concealer like that. I also found the brand new um, Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Um, so hopefully one of those shades match because I would love to try it out. And then I found two of the Philosophy Foundations, Hope in a Jar, four different shape tape concealers. I feel like I will never run out of these. Um, I found so many of these and luckily I found a ton in my shade. Thankful for that. Then we found two of these Black Sugar Perfect Splash Mask 
um, oils or masks you wash your face with. I'm not entirely sure, but I found two of those. Up next, I found a whole bunch of these formula, what is that, 10.0.6 B Cherry Clear Illuminating Peel Mask in Raspberry. So I found a whole bunch of those, still completely sealed. That's everything that I found at Ulta this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you guys next time.